Hi, I'm Dave Trow with the Trow Gallery, a custom furniture shop in St. Petersburg, Florida. And I'm going to talk to you today about how to operate a bandsaw. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut out a pretty convex and concave shape. Lots of twists and turns. Um, what I've got on here is actually a half inch blade, which is which will work great for the outer curves. And I'll show you some ways to get to the inner curves with such a large blade. Why am I using a half inch blade? I find that to be a good all-around blade. Some people prefer a quarter inch. Uh, the problem with a quarter inch is it doesn't cut the longer, smoother curves quite as well because it tends to drift a little bit more. Um, either one will do the job. This is just what I'm used to. So I'm going to go ahead and put my glasses on, fire this up. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make some rough cuts just to get rid of some of the excess stock. And then I'm going to come in and I'm actually going to cut right to the line. And I'm going to do the outer curves first, and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to do these inner curves. Okay, so you see here I've made my first rough cut, just kind of cut out the blank, and now I'm going to come back and cut to the line and we're going to get a little closer. Now another thing you want to watch out for is sometimes the small pieces will get caught down by the blade. So go ahead and shut the saw off, clear out those small pieces, and then keep going. Okay, so we've pretty much got the exterior curve cut, and now we're going to go in and cut the interior section out. And what I'm going to do is cut a series of relief cuts and then remove as much stock as I can and then come back in, make more relief cuts as needed and then clean that out. As you can see, we got a pretty nice curve inside and out. Uh, if I was going to be doing a lot of tight curves like this, I would go ahead and switch over to a 3 8 or a quarter inch blade. Um, but you can work just as easily. It may take a little bit longer, but if you're only doing one or two, it may or may not be worth it your time to switch blades. I'm Dave Troll with the Troll Gallery, the fine art of furniture making.